Hello again, students, and welcome back to Miss Bullock's Flipped Classroom. So today, one of the skills that we want to work on is summarizing. So today's lesson will be on the simple summary. Go from this to this in less than five minutes. So, <clears throat> before we begin summarizing, the first thing we need to know is what exactly is summarizing? Well, summarizing is giving a short statement of the important points. That's all. We're just taking all of the extra stuff out. Why is it important? Well, summarizing allows us to restate key information, not really little details, but key information in a way that is short and it's in order. So you say, all right, so how do I do this summarizing thing? Okay, well, as it turns out, it's actually pretty easy. So what you're going to do is use the five fingers in five words or less in less than five minutes method. This is pretty awesome. So you want to take a look at your hand. Your hand is important here. And I've drawn a big one for us here. Okay, and with your fingers, you do the who, the what, the when, the where, the why. And then in the poem, the how. <clears throat> so, step one, I write who was in this story in five words or less. Okay, I write what happened in the story in five words or less. This one's going to be the hardest one to do in five words or less when it happened in five words or less. You can probably get this one in in three words. Where it happened in five words or less. Again, you can probably get this one in one to two words. And step five, write why it happened in five words or less. That one's gonna be a tricky one. It'll take you probably close to all five words. And step six, write how it happened in five words or less. Again, that one's probably going to take you your five words. <clears throat> so, after all of that, put five minutes on a timer. That's all the time you have. And then you begin this. What next? Next, you're going to write a one to three sentence summary, okay, using your words to explain what happened in the text. Okay, so now what? I've got my one to three sentences. If you have 25 words or more, your summary is too long. So you're going to have to cut out details, all right, just details, not main stuff. And then you will be sure to make your summary no more than 20 words long. If you've done all that, congrats! You just made a summary using the five fingers in five words or less in less than five minutes. Congratulations! I'll see you in class and be sure to study for your vocab.